All right, today I want to present to you the video of all videos. I just received a call from a cousin in Chicago, Cook County. He works in a business that is predominantly has uh, Hispanic people, undocumented immigrants. He told me, he said, they are being paid $3,000 per month, not from their job. They get $3,000 per month. Every one of them pulls in with a new car. And every one of them has been provided a place to stay. They go anywhere they want to go. And the landlord must, by law, accept them. Period. So he said they're choosing the finest places off of Lakeshore Drive down there off of Chicago in Chicago. They're staying in the finest places. He said every day they pull up in some of the finest cars. He's one of the few blacks that works there. He also said that it was a situation where uh, on the L, the bus, the, the transit system, where there was a undocumented immigrant that came up to a black man with a knife as if he was going to cut him and some more people and the police were called and all the police did was took the weapon away from him and let him go you United States citizens who are not alarmed at what I just said to you I told you that as of January the 1st in Illinois a landlord cannot turn an undocumented immigrant with no ID away or he may end up in court or jail. If they come to your place and they want to stay, the laws of this state say you had better let them. If they want to buy property, you must let them. So I guess it goes for if they want a car they must let them after hearing what I have just said to you there's a lot of people here a lot of Illinois citizens that are struggling to pay rent that are still homeless that get turned down from car loans and house loans and every single day who have never stayed in a fine hotel never had anybody to help them in their entire lifetimes. Many of these people are in nursing homes today who pay taxes in the state of Illinois all their lives and all they can get is if they get their little social security check. Nobody has not for one time given them $3,000. Most of them, nobody has ever given them a new vehicle. They have never had an opportunity to go and to uh, know that they're going to be accepted in a place where they want to live. Such is the case in the state of Illinois. And as I've said before, they've also now been given the authority to arrest people in this state. Listen to me, you ex-military and you ex-police took an oath what was the termination date on that oath that oath of office that you took you swore in did you swear out I have this to say to you many of you are in a far better position than what I am in to be able to make some changes many of you have more resources more connections more organizations that you're associated with. But what are you doing with it? I'm going to say to you that if this doesn't move you, I heard in New York City that the same thing that's happening now in Chicago is happening in New York. They told me there that some of the undocumented got pissed off because they had to stay in a damn shelter. So 
they took it to the people, the powers that be. The powers that be put them in fine hotels. And they still pay them $2,000 a month. Over here in Illinois, you get $3,000 a month. Tax free. Man. You people have got your little organizations, your uh, different organizations. I won't call any names. You had better do something. I think about how you rioted on black people. Hung and killed us. Put your foot all on our necks and tortured us and treated us bad in every way, form, or fashion. you have a threat that's at your door in your house and other than what I read about the white hat community I don't see any of you tough asses doing a damn thing but lining yourself up for your families to be to possibly go through some of the worst horrors that you could ever imagine if you understand the horrors of war you need to start imagining them horrors for the United States. Because I don't see anything but that happening. So, I guess I have to just leave this at that. You don't need a whole lot of more videos and stuff like that. I'll probably still post some stuff. But if you don't wake up and stand up and do right, and do right by black people too. That might be why you're going through this shit. Showing favoritism, white favoritism, pissing on black people who may have the ability, may be able to curtail a lot of what you're getting ready to go through. Maybe you need to go overboard and show some love to those who have built this country and help to save it. They might save it again. But you ain't in no position to being snobbish and arrogant, pissed off, with your nose up in the air, flaunting the little shit that you still got for a few more minutes. You need to reach down to every black person in the world because you don't know who's going to save your ass and save your country. And that's about as serious as I can get. You that want to put some little stupid ass comments on here, put them on here, but I, I ain't, I'm not even thinking about you. You need to be looking out your back door, looking at your fence, rather than taking time to smock and to laugh at this again. This is not a message that you're going to piss on. It's time for good people of all races to unite, all religions, all governments. United we stand, divided we fall. The dead and old favorite shit, regardless as to how a person is, whether they're rotten or good, is over. Whether you like it or not, you don't mean shit in comparison by yourself. So your little stupid ass comments don't mean a damn thing. It's time to, for the good to unite and to get busy. It's not enough to hear it anymore. It's not enough to hear it. If all you're going to do to hear it is hear it, I think you're going to eventually be one that's just going to be here, just fearing it. Because it's at your door, it's in your house, and it's on the way to you. Get rid of racism. Oh, yeah, you got to get rid of the wrongs you done done in the United States. You done done them all over the planet in the house and out the house. It's time to change. You can sit back and be arrogant if you want to. But there are some people now that don't give a damn about your arrogance and they're getting ready to deal with you. You can't afford to divide any longer. It's time now for true love and action and the power of good for nothing else is going to save us. And with that, I end this message.